Welcome to the Simulate Getting Started series. I'm Emma from the Simulate support team, and I'll be guiding you through some of Simulate's key features as you create your first simulation. When you log in, you'll see the welcome area. Here, you can start a new simulation, upload existing simulations or files, and create and access your project folders. You'll also find helpful links to our support resources. Let's dive in by opening the simulation you'll be building over the next few videos. Our simulation will model customers using different services in a bank. The goal of building the simulation is to find out which service in the bank has the longest waiting time and if there's anything we can do to minimize this. Don't worry if this example doesn't completely match the process you will be modeling. The aim of this video series is to show you the basics to quickly start building your own simulation. Okay, let's start our simulation from scratch by returning to the welcome area and creating a blank simulation. First, let's do a quick tour around the ribbon area. At the top of the screen, we have our quick access buttons. These are always visible no matter what tab you currently have selected. On the Home tab, you'll see the Play, Reset, and Step buttons that are used to run simulations. This is also where you can set the run speed of your simulation and change the results collection period. The Data and Rules tab is where you'll add data to your simulation and set the rules that your model follows. The Insert tab allows you to add things like images, shapes, text, and charts to your simulation. The View tab is where you can change visual settings, like adding a magnifying glass, a ruler, or to see what stage objects are at using visual verification. The Visual Logic tab is where you can access Simulate's own simulation language. This feature enables you to control any aspect of your simulation through the use of code. And finally, the Advanced tab gives you access to other sophisticated features, like sensitivity analysis and the Scenario Manager. Now that you're familiar with the ribbon, let's start building our bank. You can access Simulate's building blocks from the left of the screen. We'll use these blocks to build the first steps of our simulation. First, let's drag a start point onto our simulation. This is where our work items, customers in this example, arrive into the bank. Next, let's add a queue. This is where our customers wait before being seen by a teller. You can connect objects by selecting an object, holding the shift key, and dragging the cursor to the next object. You can also use the paddle feature to quickly add objects. Next, let's add a teller activity. You can easily rename objects in the ribbon area. Finally, let's add an endpoint where our customers leave the bank. As the model runs, you'll see the clock running through hours, days, and weeks. With the fastest simulation engine on the market, you can simulate years of your process within a matter of seconds with Simulate. By double-clicking on the clock, you can set properties like the simulation time units, the time format, and how long a day lasts in your model. Our bank is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Let's change our clock properties to reflect this. Okay, so we've already built the basics of our bank. Next up, we'll add customer arrival patterns and apply timings to the different services within our bank. 